Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where I explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today we are continuing an exploration of sessions. Sessions are a discrete workflow for a set of images you expect to have one shoot and one essential output for, rather than a series of images you utilize over time. We had imported some images last time and Capture One created a folder for us, that's a session folder, and inside we're going to find Capture, Output, Selects, and Trash. These folders were created by the session, and the images are here. What we want to do initially is start these images as part of our workflow. So here we are inside of Capture One, and here are the images, and we're going to notice here that we have up at the top, session folders. Now you remember folders from a catalog workflow actually describes where the images are physically located on your hard disk. This is no different. We want to take the images and we want to highlight them and move them into the captures folder. The reason that we do that is to get into the habit of using these images as part of a standard workflow. You'll notice, of course, when we come over here that the images have been moved from the test folder and have been moved into the capture folder. Now, we have capture, selects, output, and trash as the session folders themselves. And you'll notice that these are, of course, the same as the essentials folders here. You could have named these anything you wanted, but here is the essential concept of working with sessions. If I find an image here, and I think this is gonna be one of my absolutely key images, I'm actually going to take it and I'm gonna move it into the selects folder. So the way that sessions are designed to work is you move your images initially into capture. You find the ones that are going to be your essential outputs, your five-star images. You edit them inside of selects. And then once you have finished these, you move them to your output folder and export your deliverables for your client. We're gonna take a look at the rest of working with sessions in another video. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you next time.